Hey everyone, and welcome to Fresh Web Dev, our look at the world of web coding, uh, specifically tailored towards WordPress. My name is Dan, and I'm joined here by Scott. Thanks for joining us today, Scott. No problem. Um, today we're going to talk about a very, very important function of WordPress, the loop. Yep, it's the main function. <laughs> the main process, right? So it's a very important function. Yeah, right? definitely. Um, so the loop is basically going to be like your PHP code um, that, you're, that you use in WordPress when you're displaying posts. So if you have a, a page and you want to have, I don't know, 10 blog posts displayed, this is sort of the process that says on this page there are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 blog posts displayed. Yep. And it sort of queries the system, does what it needs to do to get those posts there. Yeah, definitely. So very, very cool. Um, and there are obviously tags and other things that are specifically used within the post or within, I should say, within the loop yeah. uh, to, get it to, to, to get it to function. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to talk about how it works a bit. Uh, in a later episode, probably the next episode, we're going to sort of actually design an actual custom one. Yeah. But let's actually get to know exactly what this is and what it means for you as a, as a developer on the WordPress framework. Definitely. All right, Stay so away. before the loop goes into action, <laughs> WordPress verifies that um, all the files it needs are present. Okay. So it goes through, says, okay, I got all the files. Then um, what it's going to do is go ahead and collect all of the default settings. So mm -hmm. in dashboard under settings, mm -hmm. you know, post per page, yep. stuff like that. Yep. Um, and then what it's going to go ahead and do, uh, it's going to make sure that uh, we're going to fetch the data only that the user is asking for. Okay. So we don't want to fetch any other data, just the data that the user asked for. If it, you know, there's no need to fetch everything. It would just slow down your, you know, whatever the process was. Yeah. So if website. we if we want to fetch the first ten posts, we're going to do that. If it's the second set of ten posts, then we're going to do that yeah. only. We're not going to fetch yeah. all of the posts and then filter them. Right. One of the things that makes WordPress so good for development is that is that and sort of so good for SEO too is that fast page loading. And one of the reasons for that is this right here that it's yeah. only grabbing what you need and what you ask it for. Definitely, because each query to the database does take some time. Of course. So. Okay, so after that, um, we're going to verify if there isn't any data. We're just going to use the default settings. Okay. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect to the database. We're going to pull the information, uh, and then we're going to store that in a variable. Right. And that variable can be used throughout the loop, but that's a little bit more advanced, so we'll probably talk about that we'll talk in about our next it. video. Sure. Um, and then the loop uses this variable yep. and go ahead and displays the content, whatever it may be. Whatever it Blog may be. Blog post, single post, right. um, page category, listing, right. anything like that. Cool. So, so we're, we're definitely going to be actually designing one and looking into it in a more in-depth uh, view uh, next week or two weeks from now, whenever this, <laughs> whenever this next episode happens. Yeah. Hopefully next week. Um, but um, for now, let's. Do you mind talking a little bit about sort of the sort of the specific or or from a very very um, high end view of, of this, a very macro view, sort of some of the uh, programs or uh, functions that you have to use to get this to work? Yeah, definitely. Sure. So uh, we'll talk very basic here, just four different right. functions that we're okay. going to look through. Um, the first one is called have posts, okay. and basically this checks to see if the current WordPress query has any posts. Okay. And it's a Boolean value, which right. means it's going to return true right. or false. And this would normally be put in an if statement right before your loop. Right. Okay. So. Uh, once we're there, uh, we're going to go ahead and if we do have posts, display some of those posts. How are we going to right. do that? We're going to create a while loop in okay. PHP. Okay. Just to explain what a while loop is really quick. Yeah, it loops uh, continuously until the condition within the parentheses is false. Okay. Okay. So while it's true, it's going to keep on looping right. through. So while in this case, while we have posts, we're going to keep looping keep through yep. and we're going to display those posts cool. accordingly. The third function we're going to talk about, and this is done within the loop, okay. is called the post. Okay. Basically what this does is iterates through the post index, All right. uh, retrieves the next post, and also sets up the current post. Right. This then allows this fourth function called the content to display the particular post content. Right. And that's all we're going to do in this loop for today. For today. In our next you know, set of videos, mm -hmm. building upon this, we can display author data, dates that the uh, post was made, so on and so forth. Categories, tags, we can go. We can get very specific about what kind of content we want to post. And I believe we're also going to talk about sort of displaying it in different places on your page. So maybe having like a featured section yeah. where you just display featured posts and then having a, an additional section on that same page that would display other other information as well, which is really, really cool. Definitely. So um, we're definitely going to have that on there. If you actually want to see what that code stuff is going to look like all together on a page as an example or a demo, we're actually going to have that posted on our blog yep. at slocumstudio.com slash blog. 
We'll also have posted the links to the resources um, from WordPress, uh, from the codex to actually kind of get a better example of, of what this looks like too. Mm -hmm. um, and if you are interested in seeing sort of how to do the, the custom loop, I would recommend you check back in with us on YouTube or even better, just subscribe to us, yeah. Slocum Studio, and we can actually uh, give you that for content as it comes out. I want to thank you again for being on the show today, Scott. Uh, thanks for having me. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye now.